hi guys welcome back to my channel so today is another story time so when you see me with my glasses you already know it's a story time because obviously my ring light comes on and i'm not trying to go blind so yeah the glasses have to come on as well but it's cute or whatever you know <laughs> so before i get started um i know it's been a while since i posted and i know that my posting has just been <laughs> at the moment it's just because i've been quite busy and um i am trying to you know get new videos out and everything so i'm trying to post at least once a week but based on my schedule at the moment you know it's a bit hard but um I will try to post as often as I can, basically. But yeah, I will, you know, I will be posting as much as I can. Um, I've recorded two videos today. So this story time being one and then my eyeshadow as well. <laughs> it's coming up soon. And also a video of how I did my hair um, half con rolls, half twists will be up soon as well. So today is a story time, like I said and i've been wanting to do this video for some time but i've just been quite busy and moving houses and everything and again i feel like there's so many disclaimers to drop before i even start the video <sighs> i'm still trying to sort out my lighting i'm still trying to sort out the best place to put my camera my actual phone because i've recorded on my phone my actual camera i've run out of storage so the next couple of videos will be a bit higgy aga but i'm going to try my best to make them look together you know um so i'm currently using an android <laughs> to record so i'm not sure what the quality will be like but please guys just bear with me till i sort it out and you know everything's back in place and all of that you know so yeah and what was that other disclaimer i think that was it if i think of it it'll come so today's story time is back to my uni days so i finished uni in 2017 and i mean it was it was interesting you know i mean we had a couple of things that happened and i think if you if you lived in halls in the first year you would definitely have interesting experiences and i did and we had a couple so the ones that stand out to me the most is the ones you know that i'm going to talk about in this one and i think maybe it's just like two that stand up to me the most but if i think of anything else as this video goes on i'll add it onto it so the first one is when I thought that my flatmate was dead. I thought he died. <sighs> Bear with me. So it's a bit traumatizing. <laughs> you know, it didn't actually die. It didn't actually die. If it did, I wouldn't make a story time about it. But um, I, I just thought it did because it, it was a bit scary. So this is how it started. It was a lovely, lovely, lovely day. <laughs> this is like the second week of uni yeah so it was like the second week of freshers so obviously you know freshers there's a lot going on there's this there's that this is america cool me i've come to uni at least for first year or at least for half of first year i've come to jay like i've just come to enjoy <laughs> the enjoyment i couldn't do back in london i've come to my uni to enjoy so no one should just come and disturb let me just enjoy at least half of the freshers then i know okay the rest of uni is study 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 so obviously I'm ready now. So the first week of freshers, I went out with my flatmates and I was the only black person in the flat. So I went out with my flatmates. Yeah, 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 yeah. So in the second week now, my friend, so I had a friend in uni. She was like, oh yeah, there's a house party here. Da, da, da. I'm thinking house party. This is my first house party in uni. Let's go. It's my first house party ever. Like I've never been, prior to uni, I had never been to house party. So I was like, oh, house party. I'm ready to go. So that's how Sha. The time has come now, we're all getting ready. I have some pictures from the night actually. I might put them in the video if I can find them. I'm getting ready. My friend she's good at makeup. Shout out, shout out to Jade. She's doing my makeup. I'm dressed. Me and the hair I did before I came to uni were there. I'm like, yes, I'm ready to go. Boogie down. Let's go. Cool. So we're still getting ready now. I'm literally, I've literally just put on my I've literally just put on my heels. I'm hearing, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god um let me not say his name let's call him tom let's call him tom oh my god oh my god tom 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 this is outside my door tom 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 i think he wait huh tom what please nobody should just come and disturb my enjoyment tonight i mean who just shouting oh my German, i just see it sounded like something serious <laughs> 
I'm like, oh my days, oh my days, what's going on here? Da -da -da. So me and my friends were panicking in the room. We've all gone out now. Everyone's running around on oh my days. It's not breathing on oh my days. It's not blinking on oh my days. I'm thinking, wait, huh? <laughs> what do you mean it's not blinking? <laughs> Can you let me? Can you let me? <laughs> what do you mean it's not blinking? What do you mean it's not breathing? Hello, uncle? <laughs> wake up. Wake, wake, wake up out of your sleep. Wake up. Friends are shy. Get up! <laughs> I got a party! <laughs> so obviously, we've got in this room now, my guy's just flat out on the floor. I'm thinking, wait, this isn't right. I've never seen someone like this. So everyone's panicking, we don't know what to do. Quick, quick, I've taken off my heels. I've run downstairs now, I'm running around campus. So basically, in our uni, we had something called residential life. So basically, they were like there for like the well-being of like students and they were there pretty much 24-7. So even if there's any issues, you go to get them, stuff like that. So me, I've taken off my shoes. I'm thinking no one can die on my watch. Oh, hell no. Taking off my shoes now, I've run down the stairs. I'm running around campus barefoot. So I've gone to the first office, there's no one in there. I'm thinking, oh my days, where am I going to go? So I'm just running around campus barefoot thinking that uh, no one can die in this in this flat. I can't live here in the me, like baby, they, they, I, I, I can't sleep. So no, 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 no. So I'm running around now. I finally found one person. I somehow got my words out, oh my days, like my flatmate. It's not breathing, floor, eyes, not blinking. Hello, save us, help us. Do something <laughs> so she's like okay calm down calm down like, I, I be this is this auntie not hearing me <laughs> could I mean calm down I said somebody is dying in the flat you're telling me to calm down epileptic nepotism so calm down calm down let's go so I'm going 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 my aunt is strolling behind me I think this person is not taking me serious in this life you're actually not taking me seriously. I'm telling you that someone isn't blinking someone is flat out on the floor and you're strolling why are you strolling? I'm running. Why are you strolling behind me? I know you're elderly, but fast forward. <laughs> Hurry up. So anyway now, I'm just getting annoyed at this point. I'm like, oh, my days. So anyway now, we've got to our flat now. The guy's still flat out on the floor. She's asking what's happened. Da, da, da. Then the rest of my flatmates were saying that, oh, he went on a bar crawl. I'm thinking, hold on. This is a vital piece of information that I did not know before I took off my shoes to be running around campus. Bar crawl, you know I mean? <laughs> They're like, oh yeah, he went on a bar crawl for three days. He just got back, and then you know now you can't breathe. He's not doing this. I'm like, hello, brothers and sisters. How will he blink if he's been drinking for three days? Okay, so my guys drank too much. Basically, I'm thinking, okay, that's besides the point. When he wakes up, we can deal with this. But auntie, <laughs> do magic, wake him up, cause this guy's just flat on the floor. He's not blinking so then she's like okay let's get an ambulance i'm thinking okay but in the meanwhile are you gonna wake him up obviously at this point in time this was the first time i've seen someone being paralytic i think it's called paralytic anyway when you know they've had so much to drink and the body's just kind of like shutting down kind of thing so i'm like uh okay but so i'm thinking obviously can you wake him up she's like no she can't wake him up so anyway now the ambulance have come now we're trying to like the nigerian in me is that like, blow his face <laughs> Nigerian is that blow his face, pour water on his face, because that's what you see in Hollywood, no? Someone passes out, you pour water on the face, they wake up. So I'm like, pour water on his face, blow his face, get a fan, blow his face, uncle, the day, wake up. <laughs> wake up, I have a house party to get to, wake up, wake up. <laughs> so anyway, now we've got an ambulance, the ambulance has come, and they've put him on a wheelchair to kind of wheel him out, and as they put him up, up now, my guy's just like vomiting blood, I'm thinking, Jesus is Lord second week of uni so how's the rest of uni gonna go if this is the second week of uni <laughs> i'm thinking my goodness it's just coughing blood um it's vomiting blood i'm thinking this isn't right anyway now they take him the ambulance take him i've come back to my room now i'm like so, can somebody even party like this anymore party ruined but anyway i'm like no let me just go still and just get rid of the trauma that i just experienced i looked at the time now Basically, by the time we got to the house party, house party was done. I'm thinking, this was this was meant to be my first house party in uni, and this guy just drank it. He just ruined it with his with his with his with his binge drinking. My guy just ruined my first experience of a house party. I mean, I went to others after, but that was my first one. That was meant to be my first one, and he ruined it. But anyway, 
So anyway, now when this guy comes back from the hospital, they flushed him out and everything. Like a couple of days later, I said to him, I said, Tom, Tom, look here, my buddy, don't do that again. <laughs> I said, don't do it again. I said, at least if you're gonna go back to drinking, give it some time. I don't want to see you drinking in this flat in this week. It's like, nah, no, it was really bad. I'm not gonna do it again for some time. Da, da, da. Two weeks later, Balon Mubien in the kitchen. I said, nah, you, you're actually not serious. What two weeks later you're back to drinking? You're back to drinking like you just basically had a near um near death um experience. And you're back to drinking. I just said you know what, yeah, that's your own. But whatever nonsense you want to do, just don't call by me. Don't don't implicate me. I don't want to get involved because clearly you don't rate yourself. You don't rate your body. You don't rate your health. You do your thing. You know, just don't let it disturb my own thing here, yeah, please. I did not come to uni for you. I beg. And yeah, that was how that one went. Okay, I have to adjust the camera and the light. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So I think the second experience that stood out to me was um, what I would call night crawlers. <laughs> so this was also quite interesting. So basically in uni, again, first year, everyone just started noticing that things were just going missing in the flat, like in the kitchen, like... You can leave your oil on the table. You wake up. You go to no, you go to sleep. You wake up, you come back. Oh, that's vanished. Flush your oil. Where did the oil go? <laughs> You're asking your flatmate, room one. Oh, I didn't see the oil. Room two, I didn't see the oil. You're room three, so you skip room three. Room four, five, six, seven. Oh, I didn't see your oil. Okay. That no my oil. <laughs> Who carried it? Who took it? So but obviously it wasn't just in one flat. We had like a forum, like a Facebook forum, and everyone, everyone is like saying stuff on there. Oh, my things are going missing. I don't know what's going on. And then someone's posting, oh, I saw some people in the flat last night. I'm thinking, wait, huh? And I think it, it was, it was an interesting one. So I had a friend at that time. Um, let's call her Mary. Mary was saying the other day she saw people in a flat and they had gym bags and they came in they went to the kitchen they took stuff and then they left I'm thinking oh don't I'm robbers Corey <laughs> these are armed robbers I mean they don't have guns but they're armed with bags to steal your things no so I'm thinking uh okay so I didn't I mean to be fair they didn't really get to my flat so I guess I was safe but obviously other people were experiencing it and apparently some of them was from ACS I don't know I didn't see them I didn't see them but apparently some of them resembled people from ACS someone said it in it not me in it but I agree with that person as well in it but I didn't I, I was not the one that you know but I said oh, go call me see no evil night yeah no evil speak no evil I'm not involved <laughs> that's all I'm not trying to get involved like that in first year because obviously it's like how are they get, getting into people's flats so somehow they have keys to get to other places so they were stealing things like people's tea bags I'm thinking tea bag last one last one tea bag stealing pasta stealing milk I'm thinking these are students these are students that are struggling kind of thing so we have that as well so yeah, that would be all on today's story time because obviously I can't say everything. I think on a different, um, on another day I might do a bit more story times on different things as well. But for today, that would be it. And I think for those um, in uni, because I know obviously uni's just started again. I mean, even though yes, it is virtual, you're not really in there. But I think my advice would just be, you know, just don't forget who you are. Don't forget the family you've come from. I mean... I can't say I remembered who I was throughout the whole university experience, but at least have a, a core belief system, like who you are, like fundamentally who you are, and try not to go too far away from it. If you're in a place that is, you know it's not stuff you should be getting involved in, or when you go to your house. If it's a setting that doesn't look right, go to your house. <laughs> you don't need to be there. You really don't need to be there. Like The enjoyment that you didn't do in uni, when you come out of uni, you still enjoy, and you enjoy with more money even. So... Stay safe, study, party with reason, you know. And yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. And I'll hope to see you in my next one. Bye.